So now we have our code running. It took a second for it to reconnect. You'll notice it's really hard to read because it's changing really fast. So we're going to take and slow it down. And if we look through, there's a bunch of different types of tools. So we're going to look at timer, and we're going to have it wait. Uh, we're going to have it wait yeah, milliseconds, and we're going to throw that after the loop. I can always right-click, clean up blocks to organize them. And we're going to wait 200 milliseconds, so update five times a second. That should be a little more readable. If I hit upload, with any luck, it should upload. And now it changes every, I can see it. Now, occasionally, it's going to get real, the numbers are around weird. To fix that, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take and in our math functions, we have a rounding. And we're going to round the value of the IMU. Oh, it's going to round to the nearest number. So we're going to do some math. We're going to multiply it by 10 and divide by 10. So we're going to take star, so get the value, math, multiply by 10, then round it, and take that value, except this one out here is going to be divide and we're gonna go to math, grab the number block, and that should give us a simple decimal place. If we want two decimal places, let's do two decimal places. We're gonna multiply by 100, round it, then divide by 100. If I hit forward, now I should always have exactly two decimal places. All right, I'm going to take and um, upload. And after the video, we should have the rounding nicely handled. Oh, there it goes. That's always giving me a nice even number. So there's going to be two decimal places. So our next step is we want to make it so that when you press different buttons, it changes how this behaves. So the easiest way to do this is to use a, um, is to change this text. We're going to change and move this code from the main loop into each of these buttons. So it's not going to start doing it right away, but once the button is pressed. This should go. Let's test to make sure it still works. So I'm going to hit plus. And initially, it should show acceleration x colon test. And it's being very finicky connecting. So I'm going to reboot the device and see if it reconnects. Assuming that works, we can take and add that to our other pieces. I'm going to pause the video for a moment. So now, the unfortunately, now only shows why I press it at that moment. So we need to change how this works. So let's put this back into our loop. Right click, clean up our blocks. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to use a flag to keep track of which thing we are. So we're gonna need to make what's called a variable. A variable holds onto data. We're gonna call this 
mode. And when we start the thing, we're gonna set mode to, and we're gonna use what's called a, we're gonna use some text. And we're gonna set mode to X. And I'm gonna clean up my block sum. And I'm gonna move this first block up a little higher. So I just made it to So now we can check the state of mode. So I'm gonna go to my um, logic. I'm gonna say if. Uh, logic, we're going to use the e grab the equals block. And we're going to say if variable mode is equal to x, do this. Now I can duplicate this block, drop it into my thing. I'm going to clean up my blocks again. And I'm going to duplicate again here. Duplicate. Clean up blocks. And we're going to say for y and z. Let's add an extra label control. So we're going to go up to our labels. We're going to grab the label block. So we're going to set label ACC to show ACC space X colon. Copy. Duplicate this label, drop it into the next one. I said this is gonna be Y. Duplicate. Z. And I'll clean up my code block so I can see what I'm doing. Now we need to change that variable based on it. So when we press the A, we're gonna go variables, set mode to. AC, uh, nope. 2x. I'll do with that block. And we press the B button. It's going to be Y. And we can duplicate again. And this will be Z. And the last step is we're going to remove the get X acceleration block and the get X acceleration there. We're going to IMU. We're gonna grab the Y and put it in the second one. And we're gonna grab the Z acceleration and put it in the third one. Now, if I load the code, assuming it will behave itself and load. When I press the different buttons, I should get different accelerations. So I'm gonna pause the video for a moment while I upload. So now when you press the different buttons, you should get different views of the accelerometer. Next video, we'll start using the cell arms to actually do something a little more interesting.